Welcome to Equistex training videos. This video shows how to set the IP address and Telnet to configure the settings of the DL6000 MEDH Plus or MEDH485 using the device installer. First you need to start the device installer. Usually it will show the unit under type as export-iap. Click onto it to highlight it. Under status, it could be online or unreachable, depending on the factory set IP address. In both cases, to set the desired IP address, click on Assign IP. If it comes up with an error message, just click on Assign IP again. It should come up with Assign IP address window. Select Assign a specific IP address, then click on Next. Here you enter the desired IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and click on Next. Now you need to click on Assign, wait for the progress of task to finish and complete successfully message, then click on Finish. Now that you have assigned the IP address, you need to set the internal Modbus serial setting using Telnet. To Telnet, double click on the unit under Type, click on Telnet Configuration tab, click on Connect. Once you see Press Enter to go into Setup Mode message, press Enter right away, do not wait. What we are interested in here is to set, as we mentioned before, are the internal serial and mode settings. First thing we hit the D to reset to all factory settings. Type 2 to enter serial and mode settings. Attach device select 1 for slave, 2 for master depending on your application. If your Modbus side is pulling data then slave. If the DH plus side is pulling data then master. Serial protocol. We leave it the same as Modbus RTU. So just hit enter. Interface type, we leave it default, RS-232, so just hit enter. Please do not change to RS-485 or 422. This is the physical connection between the two processors inside the DL6000. Serial pro pra parameters, if the DL6000 is a DH plus unit, we enter 115-200-8-N-1. Otherwise, if it is a DH485, we enter 19200-8N1, followed by Enter. Now you can see the serial and mode settings. It's serial and mode settings are protocol, modbus slash RTU, slave, attached, serial interface, 115200-8N1, RS-232. Type S to save to... Uh, to the E squared prom and quit. Wait until device installer closes the connection and starts up. That is about 15 seconds. Later, please remember to hit the reset button on the DL6000 left hand side. Wait until the LED of channel A goes solid green if you are connected to a DH plus or flashes green if you are connected to a DH485. This procedure completes the Telnet and IP address settings for the DL6000.